What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are showcasing an absolute banger of a team that features Sandvale Domfine and Choice Scarf Typhlosion. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. So I'll give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, Super Mario Strikers Battle League is out and about. I've been playing it a little bit and it has been so much fun. I'm going to be bringing you guys content over on the YouTube channel. So hopefully you guys are excited with that. We're going to be doing some ranked online battles. It's going to definitely be a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the new content. Hopefully you guys like, you know, leave a like on it. Help it, help it get a boost. Help it get a boost. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Rocking out with the one and only Don fan. We got the leftovers as his item. Rocking the sand veil as his ability to boost his base from this in the sandstorm. And then his moveset is rocking EQ. Knock off the takeoff items. Ice shard for first turn priority. And then last but not least, we got fire fang for our and some coverage move. Next Pokemon on the squad is our Sandstorm Pokemon. It is going to be Tyrantar, the best Sandstorm Pokemon in all of Pokemon. We got Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide for its moveset. Then we are rolling out with the Sandstream ability alongside with the Life Orb as its item. Next Pokemon is going to be Ninetales over here. So we have a little bit of a Sandstorm combo, and then we got a Drought combo, which is going to be Ninetales and Typhlosion. Ninetales here with the Focus Ash, Rock and Drought as the ability, then a great move set of Heat Wave, Protect, Solar Beam, and will o -Wisp for Burns on physical attackers. Next Pokemon is this Typhlosion right here. And this is not my first time showcasing this Typhlosion in a, in a BDSP video, but it's just so strong I had to throw it in on this team just for backup support. We got Eruption, Burn Up, Focus Blast, Extra Sensory as its move set. Ability is going to be Flash Fire, and then, like I already mentioned, the item that this thing is holding is going to be the Choice Scarf. So this thing is just basically out there to outspeed everything in the drought drop eruptions and just do a ridiculous amount of damage fifth pokemon on squad is going to be gyarados over here gyarados is just too good not to bring in bdsp it is just so good it has intimidate ability alongside with the lumberry as item and then this move set is phenomenal we got waterfall crunch dragon dance set up and protect for our fourth and final move final pokemon is probably one of the best pokemon in all of bdsp we're rocking with scissor bullet punch x scissor sword dance protect technician and then Obviously, Metal Coat as this item. Usually, I like to roll a Life Orb, but I decided to give it to the Tyranitar and just throw this thing to Metal Coat instead. But there's the team preview. Look at the squad. Soak it all in. We're about to catch some wins with it in the Coliseum. We're hopping into our first battle, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's rocking a Reggie Gigas team alongside a Clefable, Star Raptor, Rotom Wash, Lucario, and Espeon. I'm getting rolling with the Dom fan squad. Dom fan, Tyranitar, come on down. We're leading both these boys. We're going to get rocking out with them. And then in the back end, I just feel like Gyarados and Scissor are just easy things, right? They're just easy picks, right? Or do I or do I bring the Sun Squad instead? The Sun Squad could do some work, but nah, yo, Gyarados and Scissors just do a lot of work. So I'm gonna lead both of them, and we'll get rolling out with them. Run it, run it, run it, run it. That's easy picks for me. This guy's already ready, so we're about to hop into our first battle and get rolling out here. But like I mentioned in the, the beginning of today's video in the team preview, Mario Strikers now. The game is so good. I've been grinding it. I'm gonna be grinding it so much, so definitely uh, stay tuned for more content. It's just so much fun. One of my favorite games of all time was always with Striker. So when this new one came out, I was super excited for it. I was definitely super excited for it. But he's going to end up leading Espeon alongside with Reggie Gigas. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. Reggie's out here. We have Dawn Fan ready to roll. So it starts going to poke out here. He cannot get going. And I'm going to pop this sand shoot. So my boy Dawn Fan is rocking sand veil. Hopefully he can dodge some moves. Usually I like to give him some bright powder, but I do like leftovers on him as well. But from here, you know, I'm just going to take off the item right here. And I think I'm just going to double that. Actually, let me drag it in here. I feel like this is just a nice free Dragon Dance setup, unless that Regigigas is rocking a fighting move, which he might. Kind of scares me, but he's still in slow start, so we can uh, set up and try to get rid of him later in the match. But for now, I'm just going to take off items. I'm going to say, hey, yo, give me items. Give me items. That's what I love about Dom Fan. One, knockoff is phenomenal, and two, his animation is hilarious because he jumps and does like a front flip roll kind of thing. You guys will see in a second. It is hilarious, unless he just dumps on me, but I don't see that happening. Don't see that happening. Do not see that happening. Come on, yo, pick a move. I want my Dom fan to do the flippy flips. Let him do the flippy flips. Let me do the flippy flips. But one thing I actually forgot, I forgot my water. Usually I get my recording water. It's actually behind me on my other table, which I'm kind of upset at. So I'm going to have to grab it after this battle. Or I can grab it now. Because it's staring me in the eyes. It is staring me in the eyes back there. He ends up going for ooh, a skill swap. Ooh. This is what this guy's ripping with. Espeon's gonna get slow start. Okay. And Regigigas. Oh no, this is this one I was worried about. I'm dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's scary. That is scary. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me alone. Give me my Gyarados. I need Gyarados out and about here. 
I need Garnus. This thing shows that it's orb. I wish he would have knocked off that item. That could have been gorgeous. We're going to drop a nice little knockoff, and we're just going to bring that thing down to Sash. And uh, Sandstorm is going to take that out. My boy Don Fan ripping with the damage. Ripping with the damage. Good work, Don Fan. Don Fan teeing off. Okay, so we definitely have to bring out Intimidate here. Get rolling with that, because this Regigate gets a slow start. Because I wasn't worried about it with the slow start, but of course he goes for a skill squad. Makes a play like that, which was solid. But now I'm going to bring out Gary Gyarados. He's going to get chipping up here. And this guy's going to bring out Star Raptor. So that's going to be double Intimidates for me, which is no bueno. No bueno. Double Intimidate. Doing me dirty. Intimidante. That's going to poke here. I think I have to take off Life Orb of uh, Regigigas. Maybe double down into him. Could definitely double down into him. But Intimidate's going to work well on uh, both of his Pokemon as well. As they're both physical attackers. So yeah, let's knock off that item. And uh, did we Waterfall and double down? Or we could... Now I'm going to double down into this thing. I need to get rid of this. Right now, I, I feel like my uh, my scissor can do a lot of work in the back end. Hopefully, maybe he'll go after Don Fan and we just Sand Veil up. Sand Veil could be good. So, or he might just U-turn out, which could be tough and show his final Pokemon. But I'm doubling down into this Reggie. I'm doubling down into this Reggie. It's lovely little Reggie. I do have Ice Shard to chip up a little bit of damage on Star Raptor, but still. Star Raptor always poses a threat because it's a very strong Pokemon all around. It's a great physical attacker. It's probably rocking Brave Bird close combat and then like U-turn and protect. Or it could be choice. So a lot of people wanted to use him in doubles. They run the choice scarf or something like that. Oh, he's gonna hard swap. Okay. I'm surprised. Usually they run the choice scarf and then they just uh And then they just uh what is it called? They uh oh, eat this up. Good eats. Actually that halves my health. But they run the choice scarf and just you turn out. So he's gonna lose some damage to life orb, and we're gonna double down into this Pokemon. Maybe we can take it out here. Uh probably not, dude. We could have Dragon Hand set up. Knockoffs can come out here, which is solid. Beautiful. And Leftover's going to chip up here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this thing doesn't have its life orb anymore. No more orb. A waterfall should be able to take that out. So you know what? From here, I'm just going to... Uh, what do I do with Don Fan? I think I'm going to knock off the, uh, the Fables item. I think Don Fan's going to be sitting here chipping up items. That's how I play all day. Chip up items. I'm my best bet. Could go for a follow me, which ooh, could be tough for us. Could definitely be tough. We think he's going to go for a follow me. He might, which I don't like. I don't like. Hopefully he doesn't do it. No, he doesn't. Okay, so knockoffs can come out here. We're going to be able to soak. He's going to take off my leftovers. How dare you? Waterfalls can come out here. That should finish him off. If not, Buffett should be able to help that out. Okay, he's on one. Buffett's going to finish that thing off. And this thing's going to Moonblast into Donphan. Can you soak that, Don? No. Donphan cannot soak. Okay, so I'm fine with that as long as Buffett takes this Pokemon out here. All right, is there one more turn left in the... Uh... Yeah, cool. There's one more turn. So beautiful. So he's going to bring out Star Raptor. That intimidates him. Do me dirty, man. That Intimidate is going to do me dirty. Which I do not like. But at the same time, we're kind of sitting in a solid position. Because I bring out my scissor and I pose a huge threat onto that Clefable. Onto that Fable. He is going to Intimidate me though. And then what can I do from here? I could Dragon Dance up. This could be my Dragon Dance play. This could definitely be my Dragon Dance play. The Star Raptor is kind of a pain and my Gyarados is minus two. So I'd rather bring his speed up and uh, make him only minus one with the Dragon Dance and this Bull Punch into the Fable slot. Right, it's gotta be my play. Bang, and then just D dance up. Just D dance up. D dance up. But yo, my boy Don Fan doing work about number one. Just stripping items, taking out Espeon in one shot, taking off that life orb of that Regigigas, which helped tremendously. Definitely helped tremendously because I was terrified of that Regigigas after that first drain punch where he just ripped on Tyrantar. Tyrantar's health bar went down like this. I was like, oh god. <laughs> Even though I knew any any fighting move would have just dumped on him, especially with Regigigas without some start with the skill swap. So. So with that, we were, we were sitting in a tough spot. But Fable's going to end up protecting. I'm kind of fine with that. I'm kind of fine with that. Because what Star, Star Raptor doesn't have a fire move, right? As long as Star Raptor doesn't have a fire move, we should be chilling. We need to final gambit. Oh, no. Final gambit's me. He final gambit's me. Okay, so now it's turning into a 1v1 situation. That was actually smart, by man. He final gambit's me. Son of a biscuit. I'm dragon dancing. God, it's coming out to the wire. The Dragon Dance again? I don't know. Probably not, right? Probably not. Buffets are still out and about. Buffets are still out and about. Okay. What item does Fable have? I don't even know what it has. So we have to go for Waterfalls and Flinches, man. Waterfalls and Flinches. We are minus one, dude. I don't think this is looking good for us. That final game, it was a great call by him. We're going to go for a Waterfall here. Chip it off some damage. Give me a flinch. No flinch. Moonboy is going to... Oh, no. He's calm. Okay, he's calm minding. So his special defense is going up, even though we're physical attacking. And I think we need two more waterfalls. Actually. Two more waterfalls might do the job. 
We just gotta be able to we just gotta be able to eat up shots. We just gotta be able to eat up at least one shot. So I'm gonna waterfall. I'm looking for the flinch. There's a 10% chance of a flinch. And I get it every here and there. So you know, your boy's hoping. Your boy's hoping the flinch is coming in hot. Or crit or something like that. Flinch him, flinch him. Oh no, he has a berry! This dude has a berry! Leave me alone. Give me the flinch. Oh, we got the flinch. That is lovely. That is lovely. Give me another flinch. Give me another flinch or crit. Just finish the battle. Just finish the battle. Flinch, 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 flinch. He moon bites. Can we soak? Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, I love you, Gyarados. I love you, Gyarados. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a battle number one victory. Gene chops another waterfall. GG's, your boy coming up clutch. Dom Fanny Gyarados running this battle. We pick up ourselves our first one. Second battle coming at you guys, and our opponent has an absolute banger of a team. He's rocking Breloom, he's rocking the Scissor, and then he also has the Blastoid, Storm Drain Gastron, Rotom Heat, and Togekiss. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Typhlosion could be solid here. Especially with that Choice Scarf, he has a lot of Pokemon that are kind of weak to this. But I kind of might just lead it and keep Ninetales out of the situation. Maybe lead Intimidate Gyarados. Intimidate Gyarados isn't too bad. Not bad. Say he wants to lead like the Scissor or the Breloom. It could definitely help us out here, but we gotta watch out for Spore. The Spore is a huge problem for us. Spore is definitely a huge problem for us. So I'm trying to figure out ways I can kind of counteract that and get after that Pokemon. But it is kind of it's, it's sitting a little funky with me. I don't I don't really like it. I don't really like it. We could go Gyarados. I'm, I'm, we just need Pokemon faster than So if like a first turn priority Pokemon like Scissor could rock out well with us, so I'm gonna lead Scissor and Typhlosion. Then I'm gonna bring Gyarados in the back end. And then last but not least, do I just bring Tyranitar for late game? I do like Titar. I do like Titar with all these rocks. So you know what? I'm gonna lock him in. I'm gonna lock him down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Okay, who's he gonna lead? Because I feel like the Breloom's gonna get the lead, and that is just such a huge threat. Let's see what he goes with there. Breloom and Rotom Heat. Okay. So Breloom and Rotom Heat come out here. We do have our Type Poison, who's looking pretty good. Um, I could protect Scissor turn one. I could definitely protect Scissor turn one and go for an eruption. Might just erupt here. Or I could go into like an extra sensory. Wouldn't be bad. If I had to guess, that thing is Sash, right? We know we outspeed all. We know we outspeed these guys. We know we outspeed these guys. Got a hard swap to Gyarados, but I kind of like my scissor here. What do I do? Do I erupt? I could, I could totally erupt. I think I'm just going for an extra sensor, choosing into that. And you know what? I'm just going to protect here. I'm just going to do a lovely little protect here. I'm going to protect my scissor here. Skizzy protects up. We love it. He's gonna end up going for a mock punch into you. Don't you dare tell me you double down into me. Don't you dare tell me you double down into me. We're gonna have him go in here and drop an extra sensory and bring this thing down to Sash. Which and what is Rotom going for? Hopefully Rotom's going into my scissors so we don't just waste a protect turn there. He goes for an overheat. Beautiful. Okay, okay. So from here, I can bull punch straight into you. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to do this. If he's going for an overheat, we might as well go swap into you. Or we can swap into Gyarados. If he's going for an overheat, I could save our scissor. Extra sensory could come out here. We are choosing this. I'm thinking of doing this and maybe just hard swapping into Gyarados, but then, then we gotta watch out for, for something. We gotta watch out. It's tough. I could stay in, but dude, the overheat could do me so dirty. I really don't want to stay in. I really don't want to stay in here. I think Breloom is going to potentially like protect here. You know, I'm going to extra sensory over onto you, and I'm just going to hard swap into Gyarados. But I do think that Breloom protects. Oh, okay, he withdraws. That's solid for us. He withdraws. I'm going to withdraw here. I'm going to go after this road time. So Storm Drake Gastron's going to poke out here. That's totally fine. I'm going to swap into a Gyarados. That's a little tough, because now he has Storm Drake Gastron. We do have Crunch. Intimidate's going to come out here on two special attackers. No bueno. But at least we get this extra sensory off onto this Pokemon. And hopefully it goes for an overheat, because I'll put a minus two on special. So extra sensory is going to poke out here. We chip it up on some damage. Just a little bit of damage. And he flinches. Oh, that's huge. Big time flinch. Big time flinch. So from here, I'm going to hit you, and I might just double down. Or I could D dance. I could indeed D dance, or I could just protect. I'll swap back into Scissor. Hmm. That's my problem here. I'm going to I'm gonna actually protect this super, this guy. I'm going to protect him. I'm gonna protect the Gary. The Gatherers. Because if Typhlosion goes down here, he did do some work. He got that uh got that Breloom down to one HP. And he's chipping up onto this uh this Rotom. And this Rotom really poses a threat to us. This sensor's gonna come out here. Gonna chip up some more damage and maybe get another flinch. Maybe another flinch, that'll be gorgeous. Over he comes out here, and he does not know we're flash fire, baby. That's huge. Yawns can come out here and block. That's dude, that's a lovely turn. It's a huge turn for us. 
I feel like from here, I can just, you know, extra sensory here. And I do have a lumbar, don't I? Oh, baby, we're rocking lumbar. So if he wants to yawn into me, I'm all for it. I'm going to Dragon Dance now. I am going to Dragon Dance. I love that turn. He's going to withdraw the heat. That's fine. We're dropping extra sensories left and right here. What are you going to go into? His final Pokemon. So we know he has Breloom. Oh, he's going to let Breloom die out here. That's cool. That's cool. He lets Breloom die out here. Okay. That's fine. Now we set up a D-Dance. I love what we're saying. Go for a yawn into my into my Gyarados. We're rocking the Lumberry, so this yawn won't matter. Give it to me. Give me give me the yawn. Give me the yawn. That's why I love Lumberry on Gyarados. Just such a good item. I feel like Gyarados and Tyranitar are just two people that can thrive off of Lumberry. He goes for the yawn. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for wasting your turn. Now he's sitting here. He's like, oh, now he's going to swap out. Blah, 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 blah. Nah, yo, Jesus is rocking that Lumberry. I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. Not anytime soon. He's going to throw out Blastoise, who's going to be his uh, final mom, which... Uh, boom, boom, boom. That's a little tough. These, wa these water Pokemon are going to do me a little tough here. Uh, I'm going to have to chip up on, on the loop. And do I Dragon Dance again? I could definitely Dragon Dance again, but I'm going to double down this Blastoise. Now I'm on plus one on both. I do like this. I do like this. The so chip up damage there. We have a chance to flinch. And Crunch is going to come in hot. He thinks I'm going to sleep. He thinks I'm going to sleep, which is hilarious. He thinks I'm going to sleep. This thing's just going to Shell Smash. That's fine. Uh... Anybody faster? Is anybody faster than this thing? Because this thing's going to be plus two on speed. Are any of my guys faster than that? We have Choice Scarf, and we have a plus one Gary. Let me cut it close. He's going to yawn now. It's going to fail. Maybe he thought I was swapping. But we go to sleep. He's probably like, oh, yeah, cool. We went to sleep. Psych. Psych. <laughs> we coming in hot. Lumberry's going to wake me up. And from here, uh, I'm just going to extra sensory. Who is faster? That's the real question. Let me see, Let me see the speeds, please. Let me see the speeds on you guys. This speed's on you guys. You're 152. You are faster. Go extra sensor here. And you know what? I'm just going to crunch over on the this. Do I double down the Blastoid slot? I feel like I kind of have to, right? I'm going to double down the Blastoid slot just in case somebody dies. Mm, he protects me. He's going to yawn me again. He's going to yawn me. God dang it. Wow, solid protect from him. Solid protect. Now he yawns on me. Um, I could hard swap. Or I could stay in. What is going to be my play? I think I might have to hard swap here just for Intimidate late game. I mean, Intimidate won't, won't really do anything, but I need... I feel like Gyarados comes up clutch. I could swap him into... Into T-Tar wouldn't be bad, but still, water moves could be... I think Scissor would be my best bet, right? It's tough, because I think he's just going to yawn again. What do I do? I'm going to stay in. I'm going to allow my Gyarados to stay in, and I, I'm going to get rid of this Blastoids. I need this Blastoids to go on. I really do. Muddy Water comes in here. Gyarados dodges. That's huge. That is huge. The Typhlosion goes out. That's totally fine. Typhlosion was doing work. And Gyarados, I need to take out this Blastoise. Thanks. Okay. And what's he going for? Is he double down on Yawn thinking I'm swapping? The Crunch. Bill, we're going to say bye-bye to that. So, solid turn from, from us. I'll take the sleep all day if we can get rid of this Shell Smash Blastoise. So, now he, he goes into Yawn. That's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, t charge can come out here. I'm going to set this weather. I'm going to get rid of it. Going to set the weather. Okay. This is tough because Rotom Heat is that one Pokemon that poses that. Rotom Heat. I'm just going to drop Rock Slide. Like, right? Rock Slide's got to come out. Rock Slizzles. Rock Slizzles got to come out. He might protect, but still, Rock Slide's definitely. So I'll go here. I'll drop a Rock Slide. Looking to go back to back here. And then, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. just crunch if we can. Just crunch if we can. Because if I get that, that Scissor up against his Gashon 101, that's totally fine. So I'm just going to double down right this Rotom. He's gonna pop a trick, yo. Hey, leave me alone. Trick me, what are you giving me? What are you giving me? Switch items with his target. He's gonna give Tyranitar the Choice Scarf. Okay, it makes me a bit faster. I'm kind of with that all day. I'm kind of with that all day. I'll take a Choice Scarf. I'll take a Choice Scarf. That's fine. That actually helps me out here, because now you're dead. Thank you very much. <laughs> we dump on the road, Tom. We uh, we hit up some damage on the Gyarados. Or not Gyarados. Onto uh, Storm Drake Gashton. That's pretty much GG's, right? That's battle unlock. And we get the flinch. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Now we're choosing to that. We're just going to crunch. We're just going to... We're going to do a crunch and rock slide all day. I think our opponent just cancels the battle. But there it is, yo. 2-0. We just guarantee ourselves a winning record, which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. Go here. Rock slide. Crunching. I should wake up this turn. It could be solid for us. And he just cancels the battle anyway. We ended up rematching our same opponent for battle number three. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves another win and guarantee ourselves a perfect record. But you know what? I feel like Typhlosion and Ninetales got to get some love. As long as he doesn't leave that Rotom Heat, we could be thriving. Breloom is a pain, though. Breloom is definitely a pain. So, you know, I'm going to go Typhlosion, Ninetales, see if we can get rocking with that. I could bring Domfan. I could go Double Weather. You know, let's do it, yo. Let's go Double Weather, just for the heck of it. 
You guys know I like to have fun in battle number three. You guys know I like to have fun in battle number three, especially when we are up 2 0. But obviously, like, Gyarados and Scissor are, like, big parts of the squad. And of course, he leads these guys. Come on, man. Leading these guys again. That's tough news for us. That's tough news for us. But, uh, how, how should we go into this? How should we go into this? Heat Wave Extra Sensory? I'm digging it. Heat Wave Extra Sensory is my play. Of course, he leads these guys. But, yeah, we, we're definitely bringing out. We brought in a rough squad here, but still, I think we should be able to do something. He might mock punch me, think I'm going for an eruption. Like he did last battle, right? He did that last battle to chip up some health. I would love to go for an eruption, but I think he's just gonna mock punch me, so I'd rather not go for it. And choice into this lovely extra century, which is a solid move. It does a decent amount of damage, which I love. I love, let's see what he does. He's gonna end up protecting the debris. Reloom is getting the protection. Solid protect from him. Extra century can come out here. It's going to get blocked. It's going to get blocked. And he's just gonna volt switch pivot. That's fine. Who's he going to go into? That's actually solid for us that he's both switch and pivoting. Because we're dropping a nice heavy heat wave here. A nice heavy heat wave. Oh, okay, Rocks and Gash on that. That's like the only good, good swappable Pokemon there. Only good swappable Pokemon. So we know this thing has a Sash. We know this thing is Rock and Sash. So at this point, you know what? I'm just going to go Extra Sentry. And I think I'm going to drop a Solar Beam. Right? Just get rid of that thing. Just dump on it. Right? It's looking like a solid turn. Solar Beam. Mach Punch cannot take me out. I'm just going to do Extra Sentry and bring this down to Sash. And then if I have to, I can bring out Buffets. Buffets can take him out. No problem. Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. Because I can always save my uh, Typhlosion for back end and swap him out. Just so I can have the Choice Scarf maybe burn up late game. Something like that, you know? Let's do some work. He's going to end up protecting Gashon. It's a solid protect. Dang, should have went for Heat Wave. It's all good. He's going to spore me, isn't he? Extra Sentry comes out here. He brings him down to Sash. No problem. And what's he gonna do for me? Who are you sporing is real question. Whom are you sporing is real question. Lord Beam comes out here. It's good to know that my boy actually outspeeds. Both of my boys outspeeds. Unless he wants to mock punch me. But he's definitely gonna spore one of my Pokemon, which is no matter. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone with the spores, dude. I love Breloom, dude. But I hate going up against Breloom. <laughs> but I hate it. Okay. But he's gonna end up doing that. I think I might just hard swap here. I'm not gonna hard swap the Nine Tails. I'm gonna go for a protect here. I'm gonna hard swap you. So buff to the battle. Oh dude, if he goes for a mock punch, that could be tough news for us. That could be real tough. Please don't go for a mock punch. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't go for if he goes for a mock punch, this could be a bad turn for us. He withdraws Breelim. Okay, so he withdraws the Breelim. Cool with that. And who's he gonna go into here? He's gonna go back into Rotom. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that, but I'm a little scared of this. Uh, is he going for Scald here? He goes for an Earth Power. Does some damage, but uh, but what's going pretty fast? My boy is pretty fast here. Boy is rather fast. So we can't Solar Beam in one turn anymore. That's a little tough. Um, I could throw Will O Wisp, but it's not really going to do much. Um, my Heart Swap you. I'm just going to try to drop a Heat Wave here. He gave into a rock slide. I'm with it. I'm with it. Even though I think he might protect the Rotom, it gives us time to wake up. He could yawn me, which is no good. But we have a chance for flinches. We have a chance for flinches. We have a chance for flinches. We still have a Dom fan in the back end who could thrive off of this, uh, this Sandstorm. We shall see how this one plays out. We shall see. What's he going to go for? Protect? No, we go straight for a Thunderbolt. Into the Ninetales? Okay, Ninetales soaks. Ninetales, can you wake up or something? Thank you. Thank you very much. Give, me, give, give us some burns, yo. I know you're not going to do a lot of damage, but burn would be beautiful on, on some of these dudes. No burns come out here. And of course, our rock side misses one of the Pokemon. Hit the road time at least. Of course it doesn't. Give me the flinch at least. Help me out. Help me out here. Help me out here. Give me the flinch on this Gasho. This game. This game. This game. Okay, so he's going to yawn me. Um, I could hard swap now. Hit Don Fan. Don Fan's not a bad swap. Don Fan is not a bad swap. I can swap the Nine Tails into Don Fan. Ooh. Ooh, that could be the play. Keep my Nine Tails alive for back end. Don Fan, come on down. He's going for Thunderbolt, right? I could double swap. I could double swap, but I think I'm just going to let this boy go to sleep. Try, try to pop a Rock Slide here. Try to pop a Rock Slide. I'm going to swap you into the Don Fan. Uh, we're sitting in such a tough position here. Such a tough position here. 
We're gonna go for the Thunderbolt. We do dodge it. That's huge. Rock Slice can come out here. And yo, what is up with this? Thank you, though. Thank you for picking up the KO. What is up with all the dodges, man? What is up with all the dodges? Can't do it. I can't deal with it. Can't do it. That's rough. Tyrantar's gonna go to sleep here. He's gonna yawn, thinking I'm swapping, but I'm not. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna crank up on some leftovers. Okay. Okay, okay. So I could take off items. We have Don Pan out on the field. My boy's asleep. My boy T-Tar picks up a big time KO, which is huge. Um, and then we still have the Sun Squad in the back. Okay. Okay, I see you. Breloom's on one too. Breloom is on one, but he does have Mach Punch, which is very, very scary. He brings out the Blastoids. Uh, Blastoids comes out here. Uh, what do I do against the Blastoids? He's just gonna Shell Smash, right? Take off that thing's item. He's Shell Smashing 1,000%. And if I can, I'll go for a Rock Slizzle. It ain't gonna do- it ain't gonna- we're not gonna get off the turn here. He Shell Smashes. This is looking like it's gonna be pretty much GG's. He's Shell Smashing! We do gotta take off his item, though. Not allowed to have that item. Is it rocking a White Herb? Or no? Was it doing it last battle? I- I forget. No, he's not. So this could actually do good damage because his defense is down. Knockoff comes in hot. Yay! Solid damage. And what item are we taking off? It's Mystic Waters. Mystic Water's gone. Ice Beam's gonna fly. K kill my T-Tar, please. Now you go after Don Fan. Leave my Don Fan alone. Leave my Don Fan alone. I'm gonna chip up damage. We know that thing is faster, so I'm... I do... I don't have Protect. I do not have Protect. I could Ice Shard and chip up some damage onto it. That might be my best bet, because he is obviously gonna take me out. Unless he takes out my T-Tar here. Unless he takes out my T-Tar. You know what? We're just gonna go for... We're gonna go for an EQ all around. EQ rock slide. EQ rock slide. Let's do it. Let's run it. We can go for muddy water. Who dodged it? Don Fan with the sand veil. With the sand veil coming in hot. So sand veil coming in hot. My Don Fan should be able to take out Blast Suits, no problem. That's a huge turn, yo. Sand veil, Don Fan. I love you. I love you. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. Especially because we get off this EQ. We get to chip off both of them. The Blast Suits should go out here, no problem, right? Yeah. Blast Suits gone. We chip up some damage on the Gastro. We could bring out the sun now and go for a, uh, we could bring out, actually, this is probably going to KO, and this, this actually isn't too bad that it KOs us. So now it turns to, to a 2v2. Breedloom's going to come out of here. That's tough because the sandstorm is gone, and we need the sandstorm to kind of take him out. But still, now we have these guys right here. We have, we have Ninetales and Typhlosion. Typhlosion should be thriving. He should be able to eat up a Mach Punch. That's all we need to do, right? We need it to be able to eat up a Mach Punch. Elim's coming in hot. At this point, I'm dropping Solar Beam into, into Gastro. And then I'm dropping an extra sensory. The Breedling. Because we have the choice in the extra sensory. It's her best bet. It might protect, but if it protects, that's fine. I, I just don't I don't see it protecting. Because if it protects, then my Ninetales gets off a free Solar Beam and takes out Gastro. But yo, this is a great battle. This is a great third and final battle. Let's see what he does. Mach Punch would be the play into my Ninetales. He, he goes for the protect. That's GG's. We win. We win! That's gorgeous. It's solid. That's a solid, 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 solid way to finish this off. Like I said, he protects. We win this battle all day because Solar Beam's going to come in hot. We're going to drop it out. He needed to Mach Punch there and take out a Pokemon. That was his only way of winning. But now Solar Beam comes in here. The Sun Squad clutching up in the back end. And your boy picking up another perfect record for BDSB. Yo, I've been thriving on BDSB. I've just been winning records. Perfect records left and right. You got to love it. But now it turns into a 2v1 situation. Breloom has no double hitting moves. He can Mach Punch me. We're just going to go for the guaranteed hits. Which is going to be extra sensory. That was like Solar Beam. And this guy just like he wasn't having it. But yo, there it is. 3 0. Let's get it. The Don Fan Sandstorm team, alongside with Typhoon and Sun Squad, comes in hot. Grabs ourselves a perfect record and we dominate all the battles in today's video. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.